Dear Washington, this is the lead virus you've been talking about. How did I get it? Hell of that. We get the story straight. Who came up with a lab leak theory anyway? Doctors, nurses, patients, scientists, investigators? Nine of the above. It was a political reporter at the Australian. Last May, reporter Sherry Markson claimed that a Five Eyes intelligence dossier showed the Wuhan lab could be the source of COVID-19. <laughs> the dossier later turned out to be a deniable non-paper created by the U.S. State Department without intelligence backing. <laughs> Never mind. This past March, she claimed that U.S. State Department expert David Asher had revealed three Wuhan lab scientists fell ill in November 2019. Though the names were never revealed, it seems she was talking about four patients in January 2020 at Wuhan Lab's Cooperative Investigation Hospital. But here's the gag. None of them worked at the Wuhan lab. Oh. This May, she claimed that a document showed Chinese military scientists discussed the weaponization of SARS in 2015. In reality, the document was actually from a widely available book discussing how SARS might have been weaponized against China, not by China. Oh yeah, against. Not bad. She then appeared on the Fox News channel. On TV, these two were like, My daddy hates China. Oh, my daddy hates China too. So people went, You've got the same daddy, kid. <laughs> and note to aspiring journalists looking for airtime. Completely fabricate a story against China and get Fox News a call. They'd be happy to have you as a guest. They concoct bizarre stories related Hong Kong, Xinjiang, Tibet, 5G, Confucius Institutes, and the Wuhan lab to play up China as a threat to the world. <laughs> and yes, the news media plays a pivotal role in starting wars. In 2002, a report by Michael Gordon in the New York Times was influential in garnering public support for the Iraq war. Uh -oh. Who has written about the lab leak theory this time for the Wall Street Journal? Michael Gordon. So I won't be surprised if some U.S. politicians takes out a tube and says, This is the WMD we found in China. Time to go to war. And later he's like, Here we go again. Smells <laughs> good. Would you like some?